Okay, I'm back for a while. Uh, this is a Ham International Multi Mode 3 PTBM 133 here, and we need the similar modification. Well, we can see the power here uh, on low power here, low power switch. It's about 3.8 watts, and high power. About six watts here. One hundred percent up to fifteen watts here, and we need the similar modification here. Okay, this is a schematic diagram of the Cybernet PTBM one thirty three board and a sample Ham International Multi Mode three here. And this here is the DC switch buffer or modulation Darlington transistor and the RV11. Here we can adjust AM and FM power. And this line here is the BAS line, the 9 volt line. And here we have source directly after the power switch. Okay, and that's the solution. We break the track to the 9 volt point, to the BAS point, by remove this jumper here. And we make a new track from the collector of the Q33 source, 13.8 volts, to the input of RV11. So, we have a higher bias voltage here on the base of Q33 and also a higher voltage output here on the emitter. And then we get more voltage on the final transistor. Okay, this is the soldering sign of PTBM133. This is the point of interest. This is RV11. AM FM power adjustment pot meter. This is the slider going to the base of Q33 via 1 kilo ohm resistor. And this here is the input. This is the input of RV11. And we should change here the 9 volt point to a 13.8 volt point to a source point. And this is very simple. We just uh, must remove this jumper here. This is a jumper. This is the jumper number two. And if we remove this jumper, we can make a simple modification. We must just make a new track from this point to this point here. Uh, this is source here by the collector of Q33 direct uh, after the on-off switch here. Okay, this is the part side of multi-mode 3 here. And this here is RV11, AMFM, power adjust. And this here is the jumper 2. We must remove this okay, jumper. Okay, we'll remove this jumper here. One, two, I'm back okay. here, the jumper is removed, the jumper is here, this is the jumper, okay, fix the track here, and here, alright, okay, now we check the source voltage of the input of RV11 is about 13.7 volts and this here this is the output of RV11 or the input of the base of Q33. This is a low power position about 7.7 .7 volts 
and when I switch up to high power we have 12.4 okay I'm back here for a power track here this is the new track and we are here on FM low power we we'll check the low power here about 4 watts and high power about 11 watts and now on AM low power on AM and modulation audio audio about 16 watts PEP and 108 percent modulation and on high power about 11 watt and swinging up to audio to 16.5 watts and modulation audio about 106 percent yes not bad here and on USB we check the power here audio about 18 watts PEP on LSB audio about 18 watts here okay, okay I'm back and I it's possible uh, you could make uh, the track on the part side here from jumper 2 to the source this is a source point here 